Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. Machete attack that severed teen's hand may be linked to other gang crimes. 2. Asia is part of a strategic overhaul of HSBC. Swarflip leads. Machete attack that severed teen's hand may be linked to other gang crimes. Police said a machete attack in which a teenager was completely cut off could be linked to other incidents involving rival gangs. West Yorkshire Police said the 18-year-old was being treated at a hospital following the attack in Swarcliffe, Leeds, at around 9.30 p.m. Tuesday evening. Police have been given additional surveillance and search powers to try to prevent more serious violations of violence. A force spokesman said, it happened around 9.30 p.m. last night, where an 18-year-old man was attacked with a machete and his arm was completely cut off. Officers in the area east of Leeds, near A64 York Street, will be able to search people or vehicles for weapons and offensive or dangerous tools without reasonable grounds to suspect who is in danger. The order, made under Section 60 of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act of 1994, will last until about 3 p.m. on Thursday, but will be reviewed before it expires. Several people had been arrested and charged in connection with previous cases, including assaults and causing damage. This is a particularly serious case, the community may be shocked by this barbaric violence, and it certainly has to do with rival gangs. Police said officers will increase their patrols and presence in the area. Anyone who saw the incident or has any information that could help the investigation is asked to contact police or Crime Stoppers anonymously on 08005551111. London, Asia is part of a strategic overhaul of HSBC. HSBC, the London-based bank, want to focus more attention on fast-growing markets in Asia, so this bank will move four of its most senior executives to Hong Kong later this year. Barry O'Byrne, head of global commercial banking, Greg Guyette, co-head of global banking and markets, and Nuno Matos, head of wealth and personal banking will relocate to Hong Kong in the second half of the year. They will be joined by Nicholas Morrow, the head of global asset management. However, the bank was not planning any large-scale movement of jobs from the British capital to Hong Kong. CEO Noel Quinn said I want more of our global executive team to be located in key growth regions, and Asia of course is central to our future growth, investment and innovation. SBC, HSBC, derives the vast majority of its profit from Asia, where it was founded 156 years ago as the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited. In February, it outlined plans to increase investment in the region by about $6 billion, highlighting China, Southeast Asia, and India as the drivers of its future growth. The bank will invest more than $3.5 billion over the next three to five years into wealth and asset management, hiring more than 5,000 wealth advisors and establishing Singapore as a wealth management hub. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.